It's, it's time, time to ball, to ball, to ball. And we're, you know, and we're, and we're all a bunch of cults. We're all a, guys, help me out here. I can't get the second line in. Uh, we send a million volts. Um, we're getting, and we're the wonder volts. We're getting ready to molt. Uh, uh, forget it, forget it, forget this whole anime forgive us. I can't find anything that rhymes with Blunderbolt, so... Oh. <sighs> What's up, guys? Lomau5 here, and welcome to My Little Pony, French of His Magic, Blind Readings with us, the Blunderbolts. With us this week, we have Alex, also known as IC227, on YouTube. Hello. And our newest member, Solami44! Yay! And uh, Hi, because Conj has been a naughty boy and didn't reply to us in time, we have a new host that you've never seen before. His name is. You want me to Hello. introduce myself? Yes, and yes. stand near to the microphone if you can. Alright. Uh, I am the Dark Sea Kaima. He's the Dark Sea Kaiba? Who Kaima? The Dark Sea. I'm, uh, I'll just put a link to him in the description or something. So yeah, we'll be calling him Michael because his real name is on Skype and you can't forget much from that. So, if you haven't seen the show before, what happens is I take a random script from My Little Pony, French Miss Magic, Season 1, and with our varied voices and impressions, we take on various roles given to us by the host, which in this case is Michael because Khan is not here. <sighs> There's nothing else really for me to do. Oh wait, there is one thing. We do try to prioritize and we switch between acts. That's all you need to know. So... We're gonna take uh, we're gonna take a moment to choose those roles and we'll be right back with you. So until then Impressions. impressions. Alright, we're back. So for Twilight Sparkle, I'll be doing Duke Nukem. For Pinkie Pie, we got Nami Dream Maka from Soul Eater. For Rainbow Dash, I'll be doing Skeletor. Very loud voice, especially for this late at night. <laughs> for Applejack, we got Alex doing Stitch. For Rarity, Alex will be doing Daffy Duck. And finally for Fluttershy, we got Nami doing Raven. So, without further ado, let's get to it! To it! To it! To it! That was terrible. Oh, hi, Maka. This is your singing telegram, I hope it finds you well. You're invited to a party, cause we think you're really swell. Gummy's turning one year old, so help us celebrate. The cake will be delicious, the festivities first way. There will be games and dancing, Bob, for apples cut a rug. When the party's over, we'll gather round for a group hug. No need to bring a gift, being there won't be enough. Birthdays mean having fun with friends, not getting lots of stuff. It won't be the same without you, so we hope that you say yes. Um, please, oh please, our SVP to come and be our guest! <laughs> Next time, I think I'll just pass out written invitations. My little pony, my little pony! Nice one! <laughs> now let me show you how it's really done! Oh, hey girls! Hey, Maka! How do? <laughs> I just wanted to tell you how happy I am, and you can make it to Gummy's party. I don't cut them stuffs with the nest for the world. Me neither. When Maka throws the party, I am there. Ta-da! Oh, just a boring old apple. Don't worry. There are plenty of other surprises in there. What kind of surprises? I can't tell you that, silly. That would that wouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> This punch is simply divine! Is it the same recipe you used for your spring has sprung party? Nope, something new. It's 
Gummy's favorite. Ooh, this is my jam. Having fun? A blast. You always throw the best parties, Maka. They're always the best parties because my best friends are always there. <laughs> Come on, every pony. Gummy wants to dance. Go, Gummy. It's your birthday. Go, Gummy. It's your birthday. Oh, yes, that's a book. Stitch haven't danced that much since, well, since our last party. Thanks again for the invite. See you later, Bafty Alligator! Bravo for hosting yet another delightful story. It's been lovely. You sure you don't want to stay? There's, there's still some cake left. Uh, I think I'm gonna pass. Great party, though. We should do this again soon. We should do this again soon. Oh, hey, Maka. It's soon. Pardon me? You said we should have another party soon, and it's soon. Here's your invitation. You are invited to Gummy's after-birthday party this afternoon at 3 o'clock. All our bestest friends are invited. There's going to be dancing games and cake and ice cream punch. This afternoon? As in this afternoon, this afternoon? Yes, indeedy. Oh, gosh, I wish I could make it, but I've gotten a little bit behind in my studies. I've really got to hit the Who keeps shuffling? i really got to hit the books. I understand. Your studies come first, but don't worry. We'll be sure to save you some cake. Please do. Oh, and Duke, you shouldn't hit the books. You should really just read them. I'll keep that in mind. Huh? Oh, hello, Maka. What brings you around these parts? Who's ready to shake their hoop thing? It's an invitation for Gummy's after birthday party this afternoon. There's going to be dancing and games and cake and ice cream and punch. This afternoon? As in this afternoon, this afternoon? That's funny. That's just what Duke said. And the answer is yes. It's this afternoon. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, uh, Stitch don't... I think Stitch can make it, cause, uh, Stitch have to, uh, uh, you know, you know, Stitch, uh, pick apples! Yep, apples! Cause that's what we'll do with, with the apples, we'll, uh, pick them! Okie dokie loki, a party is still a party, even if there are only three guests. Any Anything else I can do for you, most beautiful one? Mm, perhaps we can take a bath. How do I put this delicately? You're despicable. You smell like a rotten apple core that's been, that's been wrapped in moly hay and dipped in dragon perspiration. Oh, love, love that hat. Very modern. What's the occasion? Gummy's after birthday party is this afternoon. I'm delivering the invitations. The party is this afternoon? As in, as in this afternoon, this afternoon? It's so strange. Every pony keeps saying that. Oh, do they? I know it's short notice, but we had such a great time at his birthday party. And I thought we could have a, have even more fun at his after birthday party. And, I, and I'm sh and I'm sure that we, we would, but I'm going to have to decline. I have to wash my hair. Don't be silly. Your hair doesn't look dirty. It doesn't. Nope. See, dirty. <coughs> mm -hmm. I have to go. No Duke, no Stitch, no Daffy Duck. Oh well, a, a party is still a party, even with only two guests. This afternoon? 
As in, yes, as in this afternoon, this afternoon. Oh, man, we'd love to, but uh, we're all sitting this afternoon. Both of you? It's a, a big house. Oh, look at the time. We'd really better be going. Wait, maybe I could bring you some after par birthday cake and ice cream. Who are you house sitting for? Harry. Harry? Yeah, I don't think you know him. That's strange. I know just about every pony around here. He's a bear. A bear? Yep, he's a bear, all right, and he'll be pretty upset if we don't get over to his house soon. Wait, there's a bear around here who lives in a house? It's, uh, really more of a cave. But he picks the place up so much it feels like a house. And, uh, he wants us to look after his house. Uh, cave while he, uh... At the beach! He's vacationing at the beach? Yeah, he loves to... Uh... Play Collect beach volleyball. Seashells. Play Collect beach seashells. Play Collect seashells. Volleyball. Gotta go. Something strange is definitely going on around here, Gummy. Sure, Skeletor and Raven had to house sit for that vacationing bear. But what are the chances all my other friends would have plans this afternoon, too? Daffy Duck has to wash his feathers. <laughs> Stitch has to pick apples. Duke is behind on on his studies is and has to hit the books. The more I think about it, the more those are starting to sound like <gasps> excuses. That doesn't look like studying. Or hitting. Clearly you don't know what slangs are, babe. Alright, let's see in the back one. So, we're going to change around the what? roles once more. No, not once more. Yeah, we're just going to change around the roles and we'll be right back with you. So, until then, impressions. Alright, we're back. So, for Mrs. Cake, I'll be doing Herbert the Pervert, classic. Twilight, I'll be doing Jack Sparrow. For Pinkie Pie, I'll be doing Jack Skellington. For Rarity, we got Nami doing Blossom from the Pop-Up Girls. For Fluttershy, I'll be doing Rainbow Dash from the Dot .mov series, or Dot .mov. For Rainbow Dash, we got Nami doing Black Star from... I think the anime is called... Go later. Okay. And... Go later. <laughs> for Applejack, we got... Alex doing Courage the Cowardly Dog, and finally for Spike, Alex will be doing Banzai from The Lion King, one of those hyenas. So without further ado, let's get to it! Oh, you must be here for... Shh! Is Jack Skellington around? Oh, I don't think so. Good. I don't want to know anything about this. Yes, of course. I'll be right back. But we're friends! What wouldn't Jack want me to know anything about? He's coming back. There you go. Thanks, and remember, not a word to Jack Skellington. Hey! What's for the tin can? Time to get to the bottom of things! <gasps> I think our cover's been blown! I need a new disguise! She didn't see when the shock did she? I don't think so, mate. Oh, good. I'd hate for her to ruin everything. Me too. Especially with the rum.
Have you seen her? Uh huh. Not just this morning. Me neither. Can you believe she was planning on throwing after birthday party today? Uh -huh. I'm just glad I was able to come up with an excuse for why I couldn't be there. <laughs> Swag. Me too. This is obviously going to be so much better. So as we keep providing our money, we will. <laughs> See you later. I fought every pony about my parties. Hi, Jack Skellington. Uh oh. Black Star, wait. Whew. Where are you going? What's the real reason you didn't want to come to Gummy's party? What's in those bags? Courage! We have a problem! I know you're in there! Oh, uh, uh... Honey, partner? Mind if I take a look inside the barn? No, uh, I mean, yes, uh, I mean, oh, you can't come in here. Black Star just went in there. Well, uh, he was just bringing in some supplies. Yep, supplies for the renovation. Um, fixing up the whole thing top to bottom. Uh, lots of construction going on in there right now. You heard her construction. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, construction. Uh, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Hokey dokey Loki. Secrets and lies is all secrets and lies with those ponies. They're up to something gummy and something they don't want me to know about. Well, I'm gonna know about it. I'm gonna know about it big time. And I know just who's gonna tell me about it. Tell me all about it big time. Wow, ni nice spread. It's all yours, Banzai. All you have to do is talk. That's it? Uh, you got it. Okay, uh, beautiful weather we're having, huh? I love a sunny spring day, don't you? The birds chirping, the flowers blooming. No, no, no! Talk about our friends! Oh, okay, uh, let's see. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, there's Jack Sparrow. He's a, pa he's a pirate, good with escapism. A real maniac. And then you got Blossom. Total knockout. Jack seems to think I don't even have a chance with her, but, uh, what does he know? Let's see, there's, there's Dash the Mob, a Pegasus who, who's a, who loves swag. What's up with that? Oh, no, you're not understanding me. I want you to confess. Confess? Confess. I'm the one who spilled juice all, all over Jack's map. I'm the one who spilled juice all over Jack's copy of the map. And? And I'm the one who used all the hot water in Ponyville yesterday when I took a seven-hour bubble bath. And... and sometimes, when no one's around, I do this. Looking good, Bonsai. Looking real good. No, 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 no! What do you want to hear? Tell me what you want me to say and I'll say it. Tell me that my friends are all lying to me and avoiding me because they don't like my parties and they don't want to be my friends anymore. Your friends are all lying to you and avoiding you because they don't like your parties and don't want to be your friends anymore. Aha! I knew it! Oh no! My friends don't like my parties and they don't want to be my friends anymore! 
Oh, there's an empty egg in my uh, bone. Um, so... Ah, uh, poor Jack. So, we're gonna change the rules around one more time. We'll be right back with more impressions, because that's the end of Act 2. So, without further ado, that's impressions, because until then, impressions. I am so smart. Alright, we're back. So, aside from, Alex type, aside from Alex typing things and being in the background, for Pinkie Pie, Alex will be doing Puss in Boots. For The Rock, or Rocky, whatever his name is, Nami will be doing Scootaloo. For The Lint, I'll be doing Peter Griffin. For The Random Flower, Alex... <sighs> Sorry. Alex will be doing The Brain from Piggy and the Brain. For The Bucket, we got Nami doing Trixie, the great and powerful. For Rainbow Dash, I'll be doing Luigi. For Twilight Sparkle, we got Sol Nami doing Cindy from the Boondocks. For Applejack, I'll be doing Hank Hill. For Fluttershy, I'll be doing Elvis. And finally, for Rarity, we got Alex doing Squishington. So, without further ado, let's get to it, to it, to it, to it. Thank you so much for coming. It means so much to Gummy. Can I have, can I have some more punch? Well, of course you can have some more punch, Miss Trixie. This is one great party. You really have done yourself. Why, thank you, Scootaloo. I'm having a delightful time as well. <laughs> I'm so glad, Peter Griffin. Might I trouble you for, for another slice of cake? Anything for, for you, Mr. The Brain? I'm just glad none of them ponies showed up. Oh, they're not so bad. Not so bad, police. They're a bunch of losers. Oh, come on. Uh, losers might be a little strong, don't you think? After the way they treated you, I say losers isn't strong enough. Well, it was pretty rude. Pretty rude? It was downright despicable. It was, wasn't it? If I were you, I wouldn't speak to them ever again. You know what? I'm not going to speak to them ever again. And I'm not going to invite them to another party as long as I live. They don't deserve to be invited to my parties. Not after the way they've been acting. Despicable. Bunch of losers. Yes. That's right. Well done. Yeah, you show them. Who could that be? Oh, hey, better for some boots. Sorry I was in such a rush earlier. I had some place to be and I couldn't slow that down to say hello. You know how it goes. You know how it, I know how it goes all right. Uh, yeah, so uh, why don't you come with me over to sweep at Apple Acres? No thanks. I'm spending time with my real friend. Isn't that right, the brain? We oui, that is right. Ah, uh, puss. Another slice of cake, S Sir Peter Griffin. I I love to. Alrighty. What do you say we get on out of creepy town and head over to Hank Hills? She's not going anywhere. I most certainly am not. I'm having a wonderful time right here. You should really I just come with me. You heard that lady. She ain't going nowhere, chump. Who are you calling a chump, a chump? Well. That's it. Party's over. Come on, Puss in Boots. No. Puss in Boots, let's go. I said no. Wow, 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 wow. You have to come with me. No, I don't. I'll sit on your face. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, you want to do it the hard way. We'll do it the hard way. Well, here. Surprise! Surprise! I really want to be more excited, huh? Excited? Excited? Why would I be excited to attend my own farewell party? Farewell party? Yes! You don't like me anymore, so you decide to kick me out of the group and throw a great big party to celebrate. A a farewell to Puss in Boots party! Why in the world would you think we didn't like it anymore, Sugar Cube? Why? Why? WHY?! Because you've been lying to me and avoiding me all day! That's why! Uh, yeah, because we wanted your party to be a surprise! We've been planning this party for such a long time. We had to make excuses for, for why we couldn't attend Gum Gummy's party so we could get everything ready for yours. If this is a farewell party, why does the cake I picked up from Sugar Cube Corner say? Happy birthday, Puss in Boots. Because it's my birthday! Uh, how could I have forgotten my own birthday? And you like me so much you decide to throw me a surprise party. That's what we've been trying to tell you, darling. 
You guys are the best friends ever. How could I have ever doubted you? It's okay, Puss and Boots. It could have happened to anyone. I'm just a guy. I haven't been replaced by a bunch of turnips. Huh? Uh, you don't want to know. All right, girls. In off with this, Gavin. Let's party. Oh! All right, they're just gonna cut in here just before Twilight's big monologue. Then that's we're just switching it for Sonic. We just we're just seeing Sonic's picture right now, so we're just cutting in here because Nami cannot do this huge monologue. She's kind of below novice on the whole read script level. So and we're gonna cut back now. Dear Princess Celestia, I'm writing to you from the most delightful party. I not only having a great time with my friends, but also was given the opportunity to learn a valuable lesson about friendship. Always expect the best from your friends, and never assume the worst. Rest assured that a good friend always has your best interests at heart. Your people student, Sonic the Hedgehog. Alright! You guys wouldn't mind if we celebrate the gummies after a birthday party too, would you? His party was cut short, and he's pretty upset about it. Yeah, why not? Let's have a party for gummy! Alright, party on, everybody! <laughs> Alright, I did the last line there because I felt like it, and because Nami is short of breath, I believe. Anyway, that's the end of the reading. What did you guys think? And Nami, what did you think of your first reading here? I love line about. Uh, pretty crappy, I guess? I don't know. that bad! <laughs> no, I don't know, I just feel like I didn't do as well as I should have. No, not about you. No, I mean, I think I did freaking terrible, but especially my Peter Griffin bed. What did you think of the reading as a whole? Like us having a laugh, talking as well, the bloopers, the reading itself, our own impressions. She's talking to herself in tongues. Alex, get the Bible. The Bible? I don't have a Bible. Shit. All I have, all I have, all I have is um, a, bio a biography about dragons. Is that enough? That has to do. The power of dragons compels you. The power of dragons compels you. All right, we'll have to leave Nami up for a second. Ah. All right, time to vote for the. Imp All right, Alex, what did you think then? Oh, the reading. Uh, it was okay. Nami, I think I have to I... work. Yeah, Nami was gonna say something, and that's why we stopped. So, Nami, what did you have to say? Oh, wait, never mind. Are you guys still on the recording? Yeah, we're still yeah. recording. We're standing okay. on our fingers now. Oh. That's why I asked. So. Just tell me your when you guys are done. Wait, what did you think of the reading, though, Nami? It was pretty fun, but I just think I didn't do very well. That's why I told you to practice all your stuffs. All right, and Alex, what did you think? Because you were saying um, the reading was good. I I think I personally have to work on my my bonsai imp bonsai impersonation, but I, I think personally it's just because of the, the role I got for it. It was a little bit too much. And I think Mikey the Griffin sucks completely. And Mikey, what did you think hosting the Blunderbolt? This probably won't be the first time he does it, folks. Uh, it was hilarious. It was hilarious. I had to translate yeah. it because he has a bad microphone. <laughs> Not to risk his connection. Alright, time to vote for the Impressionist of the Week! So, first up, Michael. Alright, if you don't know Michael, Impressionist of the Week, just basically vote who... Which of us do you think did the best voice, and well, of course, which voice we did. Impression, rather. Alex, Puss and Boots. Alex, why is it with your Puss and Boots? Why does everyone I... like it so much? It's because it's part of my heritage. Fuck's sake. Alright, then, Alex, who would your vote go to? Uh, I think it would have to have to be you. For which voice exactly? I would say Luigi. Really? Alright. Now I'm going to your vote. You're going to play the new game. Wait, vote for what? I wasn't paying attention. Imp Impressionist of the week. Wait, you you uh, pay attention. Uh, I'm not here. How dare you? <laughs> uh, I really liked, um... Alex's Puss in Boots. So you're joining for that? Yeah, sure. Are you? Oh, I see a kitty. What? No, I, I just saw a kitty. Oh. So, yeah. Uh, uh, no that speaks for itself there? <laughs> yeah, I don't need to... Uh... Alright, I'm not, not voting because I've heard Puss in Boots way too much. Gee, I wonder why. So, mm -hmm. let me pick up... An... What's with that background noise? Dude. That That's not me. Yeah, it is. It's it is you. The noise much is coming from you. My vote goes to uh, 
50 cc's of adrenaline right now. No, oh, fuck it. Alex has won. <laughs> He's won by default. By default. So, the impressions of the week is Alex! Woot. Well, like the and this is the... Every time Alex is won, it's because of Puss in Boots, so... I don't know if this is an accomplishment or a step forward. It'd be fun to, fun to use at the Brony Con. Yeah, you just say it, and then everyone in the audience just creams himself. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching the reading, if you're still here, because I know a lot of you don't care, because a lot of you don't even know we don't have bloopers at the end. This has been... RT227, Alex. See you all, and have a good night. I I'm still not me 44. Bye. The darkness, Ukaima. And me, Loma Vibe. Thank you for watching, and good night. Uh, uh, uh. God dang it, Ambience! They're always the best parties because my best friends are there. Always there. They're always the best parties because my best friend. Blah, blah, blah. They're they're always the best. Take it slow. <laughs> <laughs> this afternoon at three o'clock. Yes, indeedy. You kind of got the line wrong there. It goes from all our bestest friends are invited. Oh, I'm I, I skipped one. I'm sorry. Dancing games and cake and ice cream punch. Ice cream punch. I love that. Trailer. Oh, um. <laughs> Sorry. Can you leave that there? It was fun. Yeah, okay. Oh, gosh. I wish I could make it, but I got a little bit behind my. Uh, I got a little behind my ears. And some asshole shuffling. And cake and ice cream and punch. You mean ice cream punch? <laughs> oh, my God. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, we forgot Spike. Oh, I missed! Wait, maybe I could bring you some after par birthday cake and ice cream. And ice cream punch. <laughs> Harry, Harry Potter. Daffy <laughs> <laughs> Duck has to wash her hair. Her hair. <laughs> that yes. was bad. Say his feathers even. Just say his feathers. <laughs> and who is Banzai? Alex, who's Banzai? From the Lion King. Oh, the the um. The hyena who wants to, who wants to hit on Shenzi. Oh, uh, all right. So Banzai the hyena. I'll make sure to say that Banzai hyena, and I'll make sure to say Lion King, because I've rise ones ago. Huh? Banzai. Because not everyone knows the freaking names of hyenas. Um, I, th I think everybody knows Lion King. Lion King is by far. Yeah, they, yeah, they know the Lion King, but they're not gonna go. Oh yeah, Banzai. That's definitely from the Lion King. All I know from the <laughs> hyenas is. Oh, if you ask anyone who voices the, all right, who, what do you, what can you tell me about the hyenas? And they'll just go, uh, one of them was voiced by Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, and that's if you're lucky. That's if you're lucky if they know who Whoopi Goldberg is these days. But anyway, okay, all right, so like, like, Rainbow Dash is who again? Black something? Black Star. The this is right there. Who's in the this? No one looks in it. What? Watch on Namco uh, uh, Susas for this. Probably will. Yep. As long as we keep reporting on about it, it will. Uh, as long as we, uh. it's pretty much, dumb mom speaks too quickly. What do you say we go out the creeper down and head over, over to who the fuck's Applejack? And kill. Oh. <laughs> Let's go get some propane. <laughs> uh, uh, what was it called? Propane? That's what I mean. I shouldn't have in mind. Uh, yeah, because we want the party to be a surprise. Supplies? supplies? That's all right. Okay. We've been planning this party for such a long time. We had well, to. We had to zip. We had someone zip there. Wow, that was a weird their, zip. Someone unzipping their pants. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> if this is a farewell party, why does the cake cake I pick up from Sugar Cube Corner say Happy Birthday? Frick, Wesley. Listen, boots.
Why does the cake I pick up from oh frick. if this is a farewell party, why does the cake I pick up from Sugar Cube Corner say happy birthday Pinky? Wow. Oh, how could I have forgotten my own birthday? Cause you're an idiot. Fuck you. Oh, god dang it, Puss in Boots, watch your mouth. Lady Bird is in the room. I think it's something clever right now, but I want to finish this right now. <laughs> Alright, right, come on, dear Princess Celestia, or dear Princess Big Nuts. Dear princess Celestia. Princess Bi no, dear Princess. <laughs> don't say Pooh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I was about to say Big Nuts. Dear Princess Celestia, I am writing to you from the most delightful part. I am at Sounded Western. Dear Princess Celestia, I Dear Princess Celestia, I am writing to you from the Oh my god. Take four.